Good morning. Excuse me while I take out my pocket-sized magic wand. Johnny Brown, can teach you a new move for your repertoire called the wand spin. Let me see something. Ah, penny for your thoughts. Hang on to it. Sir, would you be so kind as to put your elbows on your knees? Hold this wand in this position, like this, please. It's very important. Put your hands on your knees. Hold the wand in this position, because what you'll have to do is excuse me while I make myself. Oh, wow. How about the bird? taking a load off my chest. Here, let me try to see you. Because I want to talk to you guys. Like a lot of This is an English period. What does a magician do with coins anyway? They're always persistently making a coin vanish and reappear. Some magicians will actually get down and make a coin vanish oh. and reappear. Some magicians go through a lot of trouble and do an open hand vanish. But gosh, it pinches. <laughs> Let me check this out over here because what is it magicians like to do? They like to go through a lot of trouble to show you that the hand is truly quicker than the sciences. I won't do oh. any of that stuff because I want to entertain you. <laughs> examine the other penny, that's long enough, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you guys something old in a new fashion. Check it out, because you see, one coin can actually travel from one hand to the other. See, I know what you're thinking. Let's see the last coin. Most magicians will persistently give you a visual impact of that last coin going across. But the funny thing about this is, if you're a magician, you're looking at this hand. And if you're not, you're at this hand. Because you see, if one coin can actually travel from one hand to the other, the hand should never, ever have to touch. Yeah. How does he do this? Let me show you how it's done. Because what is required is, and I hope I don't drop her, is one, two, three, four. That's right. But if you want to do the trick exceptionally well, by doing exceptionally well, what's required is one, two, three, four coins. Check this out. You know why magicians wear jackets? Because they like to turn copper coins to silver. And I hope I didn't believe you spell that. Because look, I have one, two, three pennies, and I get the cent piece. And you can see how everything was done from that angle, sir. So you can have the get the cent piece to keep your mouth shut. Oh, I'm sorry. He'll be raving about that in a few minutes. See, I have three coins here. One, two, three coins. One, two, and I'll try to get rid of this last one in a classical name because you see, it's very hard to talk. Uh, <laughs> so I have to excuse me while I go in my pocket with my pocket size magic wand. Johnny Brown, new move. One, two, three. I'll take this and lay it over my hand. You see what it leaves in my hand? Do you think all three coins are gone? No, I'm not that good. Ah, ah, but it leaves me with two coins and nothing over here. Would you like me to try something with a smaller American coin? <laughs> uh, I know what I've seen you guys before. You guys were the extras from that old movie, Coma. <laughs> Listen, I want to ask you guys a serious question. Do you like card tricks? Do you? Yes. Boy, is he starving for entertainment. <laughs> Check this out. I do have a pack of cards over here. And let's see. Ah, yes, yes. You need to get a pack of quick shuffle here. Do a quick cut. Yes. What I'd like you to do is pick a card, any card, or you have complete control of which card you take. Go ahead, take it. Take it. Okay, well, just grab a card. Look, what I want you to do, though, and what is your first name? Beth. The Beth. That's great, Beth, because here's how you can help me out. What I want you to do on the face of the card, this is the face of the card, is I want you to write your name. 
in one flowing motion. That's very important to me. Once you put the pen on the card, do not remove the pen from the card until you've completed your name. B-E-T-H. Great. Beth, if you'll do that. And while she's doing that, I'll tell you guys the good news. About six months ago, some guy stole my wife's credit card. I still haven't reported it missing. The guy that took it spends less a month than my wife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great. Beth, why don't you come on up over here for just a second, please. Just stand over here to my right. Great, because this is how this card trick is different than any card that you've ever seen. You know, what does it magicians do whenever they get a signed card? They always take the card back themselves and put it in the deck. Is that fair? No, I don't think so. So Beth can put the card anywhere in the pack she chooses. Go ahead, Beth. Anywhere in the pack. <laughs> That's really cool, Beth. How many of your friends saw your card, Beth? One, two? Because something really incredible is going to happen right now. One card in this pack is going to pop out right in the middle of the pack, upside down, and it's going to be your card with your name and off of it. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if that was your card? Is that your card, Beth? I said, wouldn't it be cool if it was seven of dimes? I didn't say it was. What was your card? Queen of was it the seven of diamonds? Well, look, the trick is this. The queen of hearts is completely vanished out of the pack. Wouldn't that be a miracle? With no signature on See, there is no queen of hearts. This is really, truly uh, an incredible trick. Beth, this is what I want you to do. Is to put your hand over two cards. Say, switch. Switch. Do you remember the set of the diamonds I just tore up? It is now the restored card. And believe it or not, Beth, the card that's on the table, yes, show everybody. Is it the sign Queen of Hearts? Is it? Yes. Say yes, it is. Sir, do you believe in the power of healing? Yes, hold the card in your hand and say, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Very good, sir. Hold it right there because you'll have to excuse me for a moment, sir, while I pull out my pocket sized magic wand. Cool. Check it out, Johnny Brown. Yeah. Wand spin. Wand. Now repeat after me. Say, heal. 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 Do I look like a dog? Heal. <laughs> Show everyone that the card is completely healed. Show everyone it is the sign <laughs> Yes, Jay, it is. Say, cool, Jay, because there's only a couple things wrong with her card. One is as Second problem is it has your signature on. Thank you very much. Because here in this pocket here, I've got something really cool for you. It's Randy Travis's phone number. All right. Because what you'll have to do for me is you guys will have to excuse me. Well, I pull out my pocket size. You want to see me do a one spin with this, Johnny? No. All right. So